Hey everybody, it's Travis here for Dev Tips. I got a quick uh, tip for you. I was just having a conversation with Cameron in the comment section of the last video I did, and we we're talking about SAS. And he mentioned that the output of his SAS was uh, indented. It looked looked nested. And uh, I didn't really ask him if he had a problem with that or not, but it's true. You, you do get uh, output in several different ways. So I wanted to show you how you can control the output CSS and a few different options that SAS gives you. Um, so let's take a look here. This is the SAS Lang uh, website, or the SAS website. It's called sas-lang.com. You can jump into the documentation from the main navigation here. Scroll down to the bottom of this nav on the right and look at output style. We have nested style, and this is what um, this is what Cameron was talking about. And we have expanded style, which is similar except for the the children um, the children selectors are not nested under the parents. They're just everything's on the same level except for it looks like there's two uh, hard returns here. Then we have compact style, where the whole a declaration and the whole declaration that the selectors and values and uh, properties and values will all be on one line. And then the last one is compressed where everything, like every single selector, everything is on one line. Now, uh, let me show you what that looks like. So we have here, uh, um, this is just a regular indented SAS style sheet. And right now it's currently outputting to the indented, or sorry, the I think it's called the nested flavor. Um, yeah, they do they do call it nested. So anyway, it's outputting to the nested flavor. Let me show you with CodeKit that's really easy to control. You just click on the the style uh, CSS or SAS, and you can select the output style to expand it. And I'm going to compile, and then look at that. Everything's expanded. They're no longer nested under each other like we saw before. And you can do compact. And that's what that looks like. Slimming down the file size. We're down to 16 lines here. And then compressed would be down to one line. Uh, all the styles on one line. Now, the reasons that is useful is every line that you can save um, in your code is one less line that the computer has to read. So the computer does go line by line. So the idea is you cram all on one line, it's less overhead for the computer to process. Now it's also less readable for humans and if somebody's inspecting your code maybe that's a problem for them. Although you know with code inspectors these days on on the browsers it's not really an issue because you're never looking quietly quite at the code unless you are, but you're often looking at like a, com a computed output or a representation of the DOM and the styles attached to those DOM nodes, so it's not really an issue. But while we're at it, let me show you a few other things. The output style can be whatever you choose, but this is interesting. Um, SAS also lets you have debug info. Now this is really good if you are checking your output CSS in the, the browser but you have lots of concatenated styles. Like you're using the import a lot and you have, like at work I said, I had uh, over 140 uh, SAS sheets that all compile into one file. Well, if I have an error or like a, a weird style in one of them and I'm looking at the, at the code uh, output, how am I gonna find that one line of code in all those 140 documents? Well, I can turn this, um, debug info on, I can turn in just the line number selectors and when I look at the output styles I can see the reference the documents so it'll give me the line number and the document of the co of the SAS code that originated this next block of code. Now this is all comes from one so it'll all be it'll all reference the same document SAS style but um, if you have hundreds of originating SAS documents, this is quite helpful. I use it quite a lot. And then the last interesting option here in CodeKit is that you can run bless on the CSS file. Now, if your code, uh, if your output code has more than 400, or sorry, 4,000 lines on it, um, older versions of some browsers will, will get tripped up on that. So what bless will do is it will divide the output um, 
CSS after it gets uh, to that certain number. So this is just a really quick response to Cameron's comment and uh, maybe helps to clear these things out. So this is all done with CodeKit. They can also be done with commands if you're using SAS in the command line, and I'm assuming other pre-processing applications can do these things as well, because these are standard inside of SAS. It's not CodeKit specific. They just give us the UI to make it a little bit easier for us who don't want to use the command line. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks a lot, Cameron, for the question, and uh, hopefully this was helpful, and we'll talk to you guys later.